your boy, M. Night Shyamalan is back, folks. I have a really weird relationship with M. Night Shyamalan's movies. I mean, it's not really a hot take or anything, but I do feel like most of his movies are trash and not good. But I do have this weird appreciation for the man, just as a guy who likes movies. I I do really respect that all of his movies are original, kind of big swings. He funds a lot of his own projects, you know? He's not getting money from big studios. He's doing it all on his own. And... You know, at the least, they're kind of at least good ideas, or I don't even want to say good ideas. They're they're interesting ideas, right? So I don't really, I can't really say I I I really dislike the man. I'm always going to check out his new stuff, even though I mean, God, he just makes not great movies. You know, Um, I actually went through all of his filmography not too long ago, and I have a ranking on my letterbox. I, I love Unbreakable. I think Unbreakable is amazing. That soundtrack, Sam Jackson, the tone of Unbreakable is so unique. I remember seeing Mr. Glass for the first time, Sam Jackson, and I felt so terrible, terrible for that character. Like the the word for Unbreakable is just tragic all around. It's very tragic of a movie. Love it. Um, the Sixth Sense is fantastic. Haven't seen it since like high school. I gotta rewatch it. That could be my number one. Signs is pretty good. I like Signs. Joaquin Phoenix, Mel Gibson, that was a good one. And then pretty much everything after those three movies, it's like, I don't know, man. It's like a toss-up. They all kind of are not great. Um, Glass, I think that one's number four only because I anticipated Glass so much and it wasn't good, but I just was so desperate to see those characters again. Um, The Visit... I remember like one scary part in the visit where the the grandmother was uh on all fours running under the under the porch that was very creepy. I remember that that's the only reason why that's number 5. The village I, I, the, the, all of these movies past that are pretty bad. Um After Earth, holy crap. I wasn't a fan of old, did not like old. Uh Knock at the Cabin actually I do maybe knock at the cabin. I should move in this. I I made this list so long ago. Um, Knock at the cabin was a good idea, but didn't follow through with really any of the philosophical questions that could have been asked with that movie. Other than that, I thought the cast was great. The acting was great. It's one of M Knight's best looking movies in a long time. And, but he just didn't, he just didn't, do anything with the premise uh, that was so frustrating. I actually think Knock at the Cabin is a really good idea for a movie and something that I wish just went way differently narrative-wise. Um, I'm not sure if this is a hot take. I really don't like Split. I think Split is... I just remember seeing Split in the theaters, and I just remember always associating Split with James McAvoy just overacting. And I found it so obnoxious. I kind of hate Split. And I know some people consider that to be a good one. But I just remember the marketing of Split being so much of the time. Like, James McAvoy plays a hundred characters. They were, like, just so leaning into the the idea of how many characters James McAvoy was going to play. And then I remember, like, I was so much younger at the time. But I watched the movie in theaters. And I was like, he played, like, three people big fucking whoop and he just is over he's just you know giving this big over the top performance like fuck off i don't care um but i but it did bring us on taylor joy so that that's a good thing lady in the water is hilariously bad i want to make a video essay documentary on lady in the water if fascinating failure uh and of course the last airbender i don't have to go into that we all know that um So this new movie, Trap, 2024, a father and teen daughter attend a pop concert where they realize they're at the center of a dark and sinister event. Josh Hartnett. 
Um, oh, okay. Yep. Ariel Donahue seems like a bit of a newer actress. Kid Cuddy. Look at that. August 9th. Okay. Interesting. Let's check it out. Oops. Had the had the volume off. Ladies and gentlemen, put your hands together for Lady Raven. Hurry, come on. Wait, 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 wait. I got time at you. No dad jokes. This is serious. Come on. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I mean, Lady Raven. Lady Raven. Thank you. Thank you. This is literally the best day of my life. Is this meant to be like a like a Taylor Swift Eras tour kind of um comparison, you know? Lady Raven. Cooper. Jamie. What's with all the police trucks outside? The camera's everywhere, Jamie. I'm not supposed to tell. Something happening? Don't rat me out. I won't. You need a butcher? A freaking nut job that goes around just chopping people up? Well, the feds or whatever heard that he's gonna be here today. So they set up a trap for him. This whole concert? It's a trap. That seems elaborate. <laughs> Couldn't they just... I don't know. <laughs> the whole con... It's all... Everyone's in on it. <laughs> They're watching all the exits. They're checking everyone that leaves. There's no way to get out of here. Oh, okay, so he's the serial serial killer. Interesting. Somebody help me! Dad. 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 I'm sorry, Riley. What was that? God love him. Into the world of M. Night Shyamalan. <laughs> God love the man. Never gonna forget this day. He's kind of dope, right? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how I feel about that premise. You know? It just feels kind of... Even even when a premise doesn't make any sense, you know, if that's not um, probable to happen in real life, I'm willing to be like, all right, let's just assume, you know, if it, if it sounds like the scenario is interesting. I just don't... I'm curious. Like, I'm curious. I want to, you know, just... That's what I got to give M. Night. It could end up just being a big nothing burger like all of his other recent movies, but based on that, on just the presentation and just what it's look like, you never really know what to expect with him, you know, even though it's mostly disappointing. I want to see it. I, I want to see what he's up to, you know? It's always that alluring. You're always going to keep going back because they're, aren't a lot of people that are writing and directing their own stuff, funding their own projects. And even though like most of them are misses, he's always 
trying to do like new thrillers orig- original ideas is kind of the the i think knock at the cabin was based on a book but whatever um but just original ideas just coming off of his dome you know and and that's interesting let's get back to that so i don't know it could be a pile of shit but i want to i want to watch it maybe maybe this will be the one who knows we'll see